In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create cute cartoon style cat with glasses. You will learn how to make character with only basic tools and will be able to illustrate your own cartoon style character. To create this flat style illustration, we'll need only ellipse tool, pen tool, rectangle tool, shape builder and you will also see how to use clip and mask. Almost each character illustration is created with these tools, so go ahead and make your first steps in character design. You're watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Go to Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB. Click on Create. You can download colors and image reference in the video description. Just paste colors to new layer, rename it to Colors. After this, create new layer, rename it to Background, place this layer here, Eye for Eyedropper tool, pick this color. Zoom out like so, M for rectangle tool, draw a huge rectangle like this, lock this layer, then simply create a new layer, rename it to reference and paste this image reference in this layer. Now let's begin, create a new layer, rename it to cat, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like so. V for selection tool, deselect this object, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, P for pen tool, and with pen tool draw a shape like this. Drag this guide like so, hold shift, then build a line like this, and next one. Now simply click somewhere here, hold alt, drag this point like so, Hold Shift also and connect these points. After this you can pick Direct Selection tool, select any point you want and manipulate these guides. Deselect this object, click somewhere on the workspace, select it again, go for Reflect tool, it's over here, hold Alt, click on this point, click on Preview and click on Copy. V for selection tool, deselect this object, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like so, hold shift while you're doing this, then Ctrl C, Ctrl F, I will open this layer so you could see better what's happening, V for selection tool, make this layer smaller, I for eyedropper, pick this color, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, V for selection tool, make this ellipse smaller, just like so, pick this dark color, then deselect this object, click somewhere on the workspace, pick this color, M for rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like so, rotate it, then holding shift select this object also, shift M for shape builder tool, hold alt and click on this part. Now deselect these objects, select this one and simply bring it down like so. You might want to play with proportions. I will make this ellipse smaller, like this. Then let's select all these layers. Ctrl G to group them. Go for Reflection tool, hold Alt and click on some central points. Click on Copy, then go to Properties panel. And click here, flip along horizontal axis. Deselect this object, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like so. Deselect this ellipse, M for rectangle tool, create a rectangle like this, place it here, select both objects, shift M for shape builder, hold alt, delete this part, now P for pen tool, create a point here. A for direct selection tool, pick this point and move it like so. Now pick this color, P for pen tool, click here on swap fill and stroke, drag guide like this and then like so. V for selection tool, deselect this object, select it again, go for reflect tool, hold alt, Click on this central point, click on copy, A for direct selection tool, 
If you don't want symmetry, then change this line just a bit, like so. Let's select these two objects, bring them down, then select all of them and place them here right in the middle. Move them like so. Let's change proportions a bit. A for direct selection tool. I think I will move eyes like this. Delete this one. Select this eye. Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click here. Click on copy. Now go to properties and click here on flip along horizontal axis. Let's create ears. Pick this color. P for pen tool. Build the shape like this. Alright, now hold Alt. Then connect these points. Then V for selection tool. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Pick this color. Hold Shift plus Alt. Make this object smaller, just like so. Select these two objects. And bring them down. You can rotate them or change proportions. I will make it bigger, just like so. Then Ctrl G to group them. Go for Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this point. Click on Copy. Deselect this object. Then select these two layers. Go to Properties panel. In Pathfinder. Click Unite. Then select this object. Ctrl C. Ctrl Shift V. We've placed a copy right to the top. Select this copied layer, this object, right click, make clipping mask. Move this clipping mask right here, double click on it. Now you can edit objects within this clipping mask. You can move them like so. To exit clipping mask, double click somewhere on the workspace. You can see what happens. We can simply move it within this clipping mask. It's very handy, very useful. You can just create object, don't delete any unnecessary parts. Just create clipping mask and apply different proportions to this object. Look what you like more. I will open this layer group. I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color. P for pen tool. Draw one line here. V for selection tool. Click here on swap fill and stroke. Go to properties panel. Change stroke width to something like this. Deselect this object, P for pen tool again, and draw one line here. V for selection tool, deselect this object. Now select this one, go to object, expand, click OK. Now let's move this layer up, like so. A for direct selection tool. Move these points to get similar results. Just like this. V for selection tool. Deselect this object. Select it again. Go for reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this central point. Click on copy. Alright, now the same with this object. Go to Object, Expand, click OK, P for Pen tool, click on this point to delete it, and then move points. If you want to add some points, P for Pen tool, Add points, A for Direct Selection tool, and move them. Select this object, hold Alt, duplicate this one, and move copy like this. Now select them both. Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on some central point. Click on copy. Alright, let's exit isolation mode. I think it's time to create glasses. Pick this color. L for ellipse tool. Create ellipse like this. Click here on swap fill and stroke. Properties panel. Change stroke width to something like this. I will make this ellipse smaller. I will try how it fits our cat. If you want to be more precise, zoom in. Go for Reflect tool, hold Alt, click on this point, click on Copy. Let's change stroke width to something like this. Now hold Alt, drag this one like so, right to the center, move it like this. 
then zoom in, press C for scissors tool, click here and click here, V for selection tool and delete this object. If you will need to move this bridge down, just do it like so, then you can simply make it smaller, then select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make it smaller like this, in properties panel change stroke width to something like 6 points, then C for scissors tool, click somewhere here, here, and a few more clicks. After this V for selection tool, delete this part, and delete this part. Select these ones, go to stroke, round cap, double click here on stroke, and pick some bright color, like so. Alright? If you want to change proportions here a bit, select this part for example, C for scissors tool, click here, and delete unnecessary part. I will change stroke width to 5. Now let's delete this one. Select all of these, Reflect tool, hold Alt, click here, click on Copy, click here, flip along horizontal axis. I see that I need to move this part to the left, like so. In this case I will simply delete this part. I will press Ctrl G, just to select them all in one click. Then go for Reflect tool, hold Alt, click here again, click on Copy. In Properties panel, click here, flip along horizontal axis, select this one and make it smaller like this. Then I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, P for pen tool, click here on swap fill and stroke and just build a line like this. Alright, V for selection tool, change stroke width, I think I will set it to 1 and 5, then duplicate it, rotate like this and place it here. Select these two layers, double click here, let's apply a little bit darker color, like so, then Ctrl G to group them, go for Reflect tool, hold Alt, click on this point and click on Copy. Now pick this color, P for Pen tool, drag handles like so, hold Shift, then create line like this, hold Shift also, then hold Alt, place it here. Click here and connect these points. A for direct selection tool. Select these two points, make sure that they are aligned. Click here, horizontal align right. Now V for selection tool. Deselect this object. Select it again. Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this point. Click on copy. Select both objects. Go to properties panel and click unite. Place this object right here. If you need to make it longer, A for direct selection tool, pick these points. You can also see that we have unnecessary point here. You can delete it with pen tool, P for pen tool, click on this point. Then A for direct selection tool, select these two points, move them like so. Then you can change this figure like this. M for rectangle tool, build rectangle right here, so it would cut this object in the middle, select both objects, shift plus M for shape builder, hold alt, delete this part, reflect tool, click on this point, click on copy, then select them again, in properties panel click unite, then simply bring this layer down, right click, arrange, send to back. Move it like so, then Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make this one smaller, apply this color, place it here. You can also change proportions like this. Now I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, M for rectangle tool, create rectangle like so, round corners, like this, then P for pen tool, build the shape like this, just two points. You don't need more, like so, move handle here, then click here and connect points. A for direct selection tool, move this handle like this, B for selection tool, deselect this object, select it again, reflect tool, 
hold Alt, click on this point, select horizontal and click on copy. Select both objects, go to properties panel, click unite, then change proportions like this. You can make it bigger. I will change proportions to something like this. If you need to move points and you don't want to delete this part, then copy it again. Just select this point and click up button on your keyboard. Then the same with this one, but this time click down button on your keyboard three times. This is just an example of how you can move your points. Then select this object, reflect tool, hold alt, click on this central point, vertical and click on copy. Bring this layer up, select this object, go to properties panel and click here offset path, click on preview, select three points here and click ok. Now you have a copy, it's right here, go to properties panel, go to opacity, change mode to multiply. Now select all objects, shift plus M, hold alt and delete these parts. Then select all these objects, Ctrl G to group them, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, we've created a copy, go to properties panel, click on group and in Pathfinder click unite. Move this copy down, click down button on your keyboard, pick this dark color, go to opacity and change opacity to something like this. You'll be able to change this value later. Now V for selection tool, move this shadow as you want, select them both, place them here, right to the center, like this. I will change this value just a bit. Alright, now pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like so, right click, arrange, send to back. Then select all layers, accept this ellipse, hold shift and click on it. Then Ctrl G and one more tip for you. After you created this object, just take it and make a copy. So you would be able to change anything anytime. I will delete it, but you should leave it. So select this cat, select this ellipse, go to properties panel, horizontal align center. Alright, now make this ellipse smaller, like so. Move it here, select your ellipse, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select all layers, right click, make clipping mask. Now you see that to create this cartoon style cat you need only a few tools. Find interesting references, simplify them and practice in character design using ellipse, rectangle tool, pen tool, shape builder and clipping mask. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest interesting and useful tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials, see you in next videos.